Okay, guys, came here from the fishroom.co.nz. Um, this is quite a controversial topic, uh, and because of which I've actually written down some notes that I'm going to read from because um, I've thought very long and hard about this, and I don't want to make a mistake with what I'm, I'm going to say. So um, here goes. It's my genuine belief that the vast majority of people that engage in feeding their fish live feeders like goldfish and frogs and pinkies, etc., etc., do it not for the enrichment of the fish that they keep, but it's for their own sick, perverted pleasure. And I think it is a practice that is absolutely fucking disgusting. I'll concede that there are some fish that just won't take dead or prepared food. Um, that is a different topic. But for the fish that will easily take prepared or uh, pre-dead food, like Oscars, for example, uh, which is probably what I'll use throughout this entire um, video, um, the practice is genuinely terrible. I, I do not know why we do it other than for our own sick, perverted pleasure. How can we as fish lovers allow in our aquariums uh, other fish or animals to be so insanely scared for their lives in the last seconds that they are alive to be um, then ripped to pieces and tortured by larger fish under the guise of it's nature. It's not fucking nature. You're playing God. The vast majority of feeders that get get fed are totally unnecessary, as the fish we are feeding will easily take pellets, frozen food, or dead food, so why feed them live for your own perverted pleasure? To, feel, for, to fulfill your own enjoyment, not for the betterment of the fish. Why is the statement so often said it's only a goldfish, or a guppy, or a danio, a valid one? It shouldn't be. All these fish that we keep, well, they all have lives. They're all alive. We should be trying to treat them the best that we absolutely possibly can. They don't deserve the treatment to be tortured and to be so scared in the last few moments of their life. But I bought them cheap as feeders. It's not a, not a genuine reason either. The price of the animal does not matter whatsoever. It's, it's the treatment that you're doing. It's just not okay. If it's so important for the fish that you own to feed on this stuff, why do you need to video it and broadcast it to the world? Like Seriously. For clicks or for likes, there's no need for it. Why do you have to show the world? It's absolutely unnecessary. Or again, it's once again for your own perverted enjoyment. Your mind says it's okay, but really it's not. Do you know the natural diet of the fish that you're often feeding? Again, we're going to talk about um, Oscars. Predominantly, they're eating insects. They're not eating fish. Insects are the vast majority of their diet. What about the fish that predominantly eat uh, greenery majority in their diet? Things like paku, they're not they're not chowing down on fish all day, every day. They're, they're grazing on algae, they're grazing on nuts, they're grazing on seeds and fruit and whatnot. Why are we feeding them live feeders when they don't need to be fed live feeders? So why is there a need to be feeding our fish live food? Live fish, live frogs little small pinky mice it's for your own perverted enjoyment if you absolutely must feed feeders feed them to a size that is at least appropriate so they're not being ripped and destroyed and ripped to pieces before they've been eaten give it the one buff seriously straight in gone if you must do that why why do they have to be so big that they have to be ripped to pieces again because it's for your own sick perverted enjoyment and it is not okay it is time that we stop this practice as a hobby and as an industry, the time is now to make the stand and stop doing this.